Chuck, back over to you. Savannah sent us this email, and th this is just <laughs> unbelievable. Condo Association called her back in 2020. So we're going to break this down, Chuck. Okay. Condo Association, where she's living, called her back in 2020, said there was a leak somewhere in the building, and they had to get in to see her unit and because they thought the shower was the cause. She said, no, I'm leaving for work. I've got to go. I cannot let anybody in. They threatened fines against her if she didn't allow the access. And so, so she ended up letting them in. So that's part point one. So can they fine you if you don't let the condo association member in to, for a suspected leak? Um, the quick answer is generally yes. Uh, the longer answer is you need to look at the condo docs to make sure they can. Though I can't imagine a condo docs not allowing that. The third answer is that just doesn't sound like, a, hey, you get a phone call at 7 a.m. saying, hey, let me in. And if you don't, by the end of the day, I'm going to have fines. The whole fine process takes a few months as a general rule. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it sounds to me like there might be more to the story. OK, there is. Well, there is, but not well, the way you're thinking. So she lets them in. She's late for work. They took all the things out from under her vanity. And left them out, by the way. They cut a hole in the ceiling above her shower and left everything like it was. And so it's a mess is what she's saying now here in 2023. She's thinking about selling her condo in the next year or so because she's getting married. She can't sell it with a hole in the shower ceiling. Does she take legal action against the board? What are your thoughts? Are we looking at cake diplomacy for the for the condo board? No, generally you can't do that with a condo board. Yeah, uh, I got that, right. Yeah, they tend to be a little uh, stiff-necked. Um, obviously, she's got to fix it, okay? Uh, it depends on which condo it is as to where the condo's liability goes. If they cut the hole, though, to determine where there was a problem and the problem wasn't hers, mm -hmm. then I would imagine she's got a pretty decent uh, argument to make them pay for it. Um, if it was something that was wrong on her side, her responsibility, well, they probably, uh, the max they would do is probably patch the hole and let her paint from there. In any event, yeah. before you can do anything, you got to fix it. If she's going to wait on them to fix it uh, and then uh, try and sell it, then that's not mitigating the damages. Uh, if you harm me, I have to do what I can to keep the, you know, to make that harm stop. OK, yep. um, let's say that you, you know, you cut me accidentally. Um, if I don't go and get my arm fixed, uh, you're not necessarily responsible for the added, you know, uh, injury on down the way from not having it looked at. Same thing here. They cut a hole. OK, great. Fix the hole and then sell the property and then, you know, go after them for the amount of money that it costs to fix the hole. Yep. That's go, the, yeah, you, you I, can't I, say, I, oh, you cost me yeah, a, right. a listing. Uh, you got it. Anyhow. Yeah. So I would go to the board and say, hey, look, folks, this is still like, take a picture of it, send yeah. it to the board members, say, hey. And then you still need to disclose that there was a hole cut in the ceiling on the disclosure. Oh, when absolutely. You tell Savannah. And yeah. that's because if an inspector looks up and sees a hole that's been patched up or a remnants of it, and then they're going to wonder why you don't want to set up a feeling of distrust. Well, right? hopefully the contractor she gets won't run off with her check and yes. will actually <laughs> uh, put it back together. So you can't tell there was a hole. Uh, yeah. It's not difficult to patch those patch those up. Even I can do it. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you've got to you've got to mitigate the damages. Uh, and I will tell you that the uh, board can't just I mean, unless it's an emergency and you're going to cause all kinds of other damage to other units. If this just uh, hey, we think um they can't put a fine on you after you know eight hours this is a yeah, yeah i'll let you up there but it's after i get home 